We outside it when we win it, and we outside in defeat. Losses turn it. We turn losses into lessons, and then then in turn turn them into blessings. So I love the purpose planner. Uh, I'm disappointed with my performance, but I showed that I was that I was a you know a true champion, and that um I could fight with after being knocked down and being hurt. Uh, one thing I can say is um I did always say that I believe that Ryan Garcia was a good fighter. We were three three with him. Um, I think he's an even better uh, TikToker or influencer or whatever because he fooled you guys into thinking that he was crazy. I knew that he wasn't crazy. You know, this is why people need to stop believing everything on the internet and stop, you know, living in a false reality. At the end of the day, there's a lot of real shit going on. You know, the last thing you should worry about as a kid acting crazy on the internet. Real shit is going on in the world. Open your eyes. You know, kids being hurt, nobody caring. Everybody looking at it like, oh, he's just crazy. He's a conspiracy. He's this, he's that. At the end of the day, that shit was real. And I, I out there put that my reputation on the line, had everybody thinking I was crazy. Back in the day, who's the crazy one now? In a twist of fate that defied expectations, Saturday night witnessed an extraordinary lead up to a significant bout, culminating in a jaw dropping result. Ryan Garcia's stunning performance saw him land three decisive knockdowns against Devin Haney toppling the undefeated WBC super lightweight champion and delivering a sensational upset that will echo through the annals of boxing history. In a surprising turn of events, Garcia, entering the ring as a six, one underdog, managed to floor Haney not once, but thrice during the seventh, 10th, and 11th rounds. His formidable blend of speed and power proved unstoppable as he clinched a majority decision victory with judges scoring it 115, 109, 114, 110, and 112, 112. The highly anticipated showdown set for 12 rounds at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn took an unexpected turn on Friday. Garcia's weight tipped the scales at 143.2 pounds, surpassing the division limit by 3.2 pounds, thus relegating the bout to a non-title status. This mishap was seen as a testament to Garcia's lack of readiness and internal chaos within his camp. Consequently, Garcia could no longer vie for Haney's championship, only the opportunity to mar his flawless professional record. Despite the odds stacked against him, Garcia managed to accomplish just that. In written form, it presented itself as the kind of spectacle seldom witnessed in contemporary boxing, a clash between two of America's most promising young talents, each 25 years of age, standing at the pinnacle of their physical prowess and boasting substantial experience at the highest levels of the sport. Yet the event's luster was nearly eclipsed by Garcia's tumultuous conduct, both in public appearances and across social media platforms. His erratic behavior spiraled into a disconcerting vortex of conspiracy theories and seemingly desperate pleas for assistance. Garcia said afterward, come on guys, you really thought I was crazy? Garcia burst onto the scene with a flurry of punches right from the start, catching Haney off guard with a powerful left hook that ignited the crowd's excitement, sparking chants of Ryan Ryan echoing throughout the arena. As the match progressed, Haney shifted to a more assertive strategy, relying on his jab to assert dominance. He managed to push Garcia back, delivering a solid right hand in the third round that visibly irked Garcia. Despite Garcia's attempts to retaliate with his potent left hand, Haney adeptly countered, frustrating his opponent while searching for opportunities to strike. As Haney seemed to be edging ahead on the scorecards, Garcia unleashed a thunderous left hook in the seventh round, sending the reigning champion to the canvas for the first time in his 32-fight career. However, Garcia's momentum was interrupted when referee Harvey Dock deducted a point for a break infraction just moments later as he sought to capitalize on his advantage. Despite this setback, Haney struggled to regain his footing, showing signs of damage well into the eighth round. Haney exhibited extraordinary resilience and regenerative abilities, yet he struggled to evade Garcia's potent strikes. Succumbing to a crushing right in the 10th round, followed by a savage counter left in the 11th, the battered champion found himself on the defensive for much of the final round, subjected to Garcia's taunts. Rarely has boxing's reputation for unpredictability been more fittingly showcased. Haney said, I'm disappointed with my performance, but I showed I'm a true champion and I can fight after being knocked down and hurt. He caught me early, caught me by surprise, 
We trained for the left hook, but I got in there and I fell asleep, and he caught me with it. Garcia connected with 87 out of 214 punches as per CompuBox's punch data, while Haney landed 106 out of 285. However, the pivotal factor lay in the power shots, where Garcia significantly outperformed his opponent by landing more than double the amount, 95 compared to 45. Haney added, I was more surprised than hurt the first time. He jumped on me like we knew he would, but I was just sleeping. I thought the ref let him turn his back and hold a little too much. The promotion had predominantly centered on their amateur rivalry, comprising six intense bouts where each fighter claimed victory thrice. However, while Garcia enjoys greater celebrity status today, boasting over 10.5 million Instagram followers and an additional 7.5 million on TikTok, it's undeniable that Haney entered the professional arena with more accolades and emerged as the clear favorite based on merit. Hailing from the Bay Area, this fighter accomplished a remarkable feat by clinching all four major titles in the 135-pound category. His crowning moment came in May when he secured a career-defining victory over Vasily Lomachenko. Not content with his achievements, he ventured into the 140 pound division and added another feather to his cap by dominating Regis Progress to claim the World Boxing Council's super lightweight title. During that same period, Garcia's emergence as boxing's promising young star had significantly waned. His inaugural loss to Gervonta Davis last year, succumbing to a seventh round body shot, displayed a disconcerting lack of urgency to rise from the canvas, which some critics interpreted as a strategic move. Although he redeemed himself with a decisive eighth-round victory over Oscar Duarte in December, Garcia's erratic behavior in recent months has cast a shadow of doubt over his prospects against an opponent steadily ascending boxing's pound-for-pound -pound rankings. I didn't really want to say this, but it is the truth. You know, everybody needs to acknowledge, like, yo, I'm tripping. Y'all was tripping, mm. not me. Mm. You guys were tripping. Mm. I was, I was the one that was actually with sanity because I'm like, yo, there's the hurting little kids. Let's, let's help them. After the dust settled on Saturday, it became glaringly clear that Garcia had pulled the wool over everyone's eyes. But rather than retreat, the native of Orange County embraced the moment boldly circling the track of triumph. Garcia said, This is why people need to stop believing everything on the internet and stop living in a false reality. At the end of the day, there's a lot of real shit going on. And the last thing you should worry about is a kid acting crazy on the internet. I put my reputation on the line and had everyone thinking I was crazy. At the end of the day, who's the crazy one now? Garcia and Haney eagerly signaled their desire for a rematch an inevitable proposition following their thrilling bout last Saturday. However, Oscar De La Hoya, Garcia's promoter, emphasized the dawn of a new era in boxing. De La Hoya said, Ryan is going to rest. He had a great win. Let him enjoy it. But guess what? He's calling all the shots now. That's the fact. Whether he wants to fight at 147 pounds or at a catch weight, if anyone wants to make money, they have to fight Ryan and he's going to call all the shots. Meanwhile, Jake Paul was among the stunned spectators as he witnessed Ryan Garcia's breathtaking victory over Devin Haney, unable to comprehend the spectacle before his eyes. Paul shared a video of him and brother Logan both putting their hands on their head in disbelief as Garcia hurt Haney in the opening round. The YouTuber turned boxer then tweeted, This is the craziest fight I've ever seen. Man, what an amazing fight and so unexpected I seriously can't breathe. Both are warriors and savages and never underestimate anyone. Garcia and Paul do share a backstory, dating back to when Garcia expressed remorse for introducing Paul to the world of boxing, following the social media star's recent bout. Paul responded by telling Garcia, You just seem like you're losing your mind and acting thirsty and desperate, and saying you're a billionaire when you had one money fight. Garcia mocked his critics after beating Haney. I'm just saying, just chill, bro. If you do want to fight, that's to me light work. You got no footwork. And as long as you've been in the game, 
I'm a better boxer than you. Who's the crazy one now? He confessed to indulging in daily drinking and smoking habits before delving into the specifics of his weight loss journey. He said, I was too big, I was dehydrated. It was really bad, I should have actually died cutting that weight. I was blistering out of my mouth. I had no spit. It hurt every day to make that weight. I was shaking in bed. The shit was crazy. Garcia subtly diminished the likelihood of a rematch with Haney by revealing his intentions to ascend to the 147 pound weight class post victory hinting at the possibility of a bout at 154 pounds. The coveted green and gold championship strap was destined to be contested until Garcia's self-exclusion from the title race due to a weight discrepancy of 3.2 pounds yesterday. Thus, even if Garcia raises his hand, Haney keeps his belt. King Rai defeated Haney three times to win by majority decision, demonstrating his excellent form. In rounds 7, 10, and 11, Haney was knocked down and out. To his credit, he persevered through the turbulence to witness the last bell. Taking to the mic after his upset victory, Garcia said, God did, my heavenly father, Jesus Christ. I give you all the glory. I couldn't do it without you. I love you so much. Garcia had already been discounted by many before stepping into the ring, all because of his peculiar conduct in the days leading up to the match. Questions arose regarding Garcia's mental state following a series of troubling updates on social media in recent weeks. Among them was a video where he asserted his own demise. The apprehensions intensified as Garcia failed to make weight. Adding to the unease was his nonchalant act of cracking open a beer right on the scales during the ceremonial weigh-ins. But as he defeated his longtime amateur adversary, Garcia achieved a career-best victory and was locked in. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.